preventing mental retardation due to iodine deficiency, improving the IQ of a billion people. Basil Hetzel, physician, scientist, entrepreneur, colleague and educator. Dedicated by the 2005 Adelaide Festival of Ideas, Prior Chancellor of the University of South Australia and Lieutenant Governor of South Australia. He first visited the highlands of PNG in 1964 to see if goiter and cretinism were due to iodine deficiency. Tests on urine and blood showed severe iodine deficiency, corrected by iodized oil injection. A later controlled trial over four years was carried out with the PNG Department of Health. This revealed cretinism was prevented by iodized oil injections prior to pregnancy. He used the key study by Dr. Joko Mojanto in Sengi, Central Java, for further evidence on the impact of iodine. In April 1973, all villagers received an injection of iodized oil. The graph shows the extreme difference in the iodine excretion before and after the injection. The photo shows the major difference in growth between the parents before the injections and the son after. The iceberg shows the varying effect of iodine deficiency on brain development. At the tip is the most severe manifestation, cretinism, which is irreversible. More frequently are lesser degrees of mental impairment, reversible with iodine. You showed, as the head of human nutrition at the CSIRO, retarded fetal brain development in sheep with an iodine deficient diet in pregnancy. In 1985, at age 63, you started a global organization to counter the major cause of mental impairment, iodine deficiency, with some 2 billion people at risk. Fully preventable by salt iodization. Our paths have crossed through key agencies such as UNICEF, where I worked, and in several countries to help plan and monitor the program, as well as assessing resource needs and added funding requirements. Your wheel model shows the need to present the problem, not only for assessment and presentation, but planning, political will, implementation and evaluation. The first step assesses the extent of the problem. Two, disseminate the findings, in this case for Egypt. Three, the Global Board develops a plan of action with 130 countries. 4. Community grants will. The political decision leads to action. 5. Implementing the program with education and training. and 6. Evaluation, which includes coverage of salt iodization at household level. At 85, you are still active at meetings and workshops. You recently completed a stirring book, Chance and Commitment, and continue to advocate public health issues against indifference and ignorance, a passion which I share. Progress to control iodine deficiency is slowing, especially in poorer countries. Why should up to a billion people be still at risk of iodine lack and mental impairment? Can the momentum be restored? Yes, by further community education efforts, supported by increasing availability of iodized salt. Why was this film made? Human stories in film help communicate public health concerns.